This is Gordon. Today I'm going to change a starter solenoid on my zero turn lawnmower. And it's probably pretty much the same procedure on any lawnmower that has a power starter. Mine is mounted on the frame. That's it right there where those two cables are. And let's see if it'll act up for me. What it's been doing is just clicking and not starting. That's what it does. Now if I take this bolt here while the key is turned on and I just cross over the top of these two main terminals, that bypasses the solenoid. First thing you need to do is if you can't know for sure where all of these wires are supposed to go then hopefully you got a smartphone or a digital camera take a picture or draw a picture and write down where the wires go if this was a classroom or out of a book it would say disconnect the battery this is not a classroom or a book I'm not disconnecting the battery this cable here goes to the battery. This one goes from the solenoid to the starter. So I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to wrap a rag around it. I'm going to take the rest of these screws off. I'm going to lift starter wire off of there. It's not going to short out anywhere. So we just stuff it out of the way. This is the hot one. This one will short out. This is the one you this is the reason why you take the battery cable off. But when you're working in your own shop, you have to find shortcuts to save time, because time is money. Wrap a rag around it. Make sure it's wrapped around where it's not going to fall off. These two wires go on the same side where the battery cable was. The starter cable was on this side. The way I'm remembering that, the starter's on this side also. And then I got an energized wire down here that energizes the solenoid. We're pulling that off. There's two ground wires down here. I don't know what they go to. I don't care. They're white and they're grounded on these screw bolts where the solenoid's mounted at. So we'll put them back there. Let me get those off. Okay, we got those screws off. Now I knew this when I went and bought it. This solenoid mounts differently. It's got two mounting ears, one on each side here. This is how it mounted in this position. And it has one energized wire going to it. Well, the replacement one, when I went to the store, I just went to a farm supply. I did not order this or go to a dealer or anything like that because this is just too universal of a part but this one is a little bit different and I'm going to use it anyway and I think it's good for the video to show that you don't always have to go with exactly the same parts it's good to do that if you can especially on customers stuff but this is basically for people to do things at home this one is pretty much the same solenoid It just doesn't have another wire coming out, or another spade connector coming out over here where my thumb is. It's only got the one. What that is, is an energized wire that goes from the ignition switch to this, goes through a coil of wires that makes a magnet that pulls a plunger up. That plunger hits the bottom of these two bolts here and makes contact so that your direct battery power can go through straight to the starter without burning up all the small wires and inside your ignition switch and burning all that up pulling all that heavy amperage and we only got one mounting screw this one obviously has some kind of a hole that that's supposed to tuck in if we don't have it we'll just mount it with one screw I'm fine with that it's my lawnmower I would not do that on a customers without their permission
Tighten those down. Okay, they're tied. I'm ready to try it. Didn't work. Well, I need to find out why. Okay, I found out why. It came with this extra grounding wire. I didn't know what that was for. Well, I just now found out why it came with this. Because mine, my original, is obviously self-grounding through the, the chassis or through the mounting plate and this one isn't. So I just plugged that wire in and I just had it touching down here on that and it worked. So I'm gonna take this screw back out and put this one under that screw and then uh, screw it back down and then we'll be fixed. So you don't always have to have the exact same sure it works better when you can get that but it's going to be a headache to order that wait for it to get here online pay shipping when I can just go to a discount farm supply store and buy the solenoid for 11 bucks and be home with it. So there we have it. Thanks for watching.